Well, I tell you what, I hope the curse of the camera doesn't continue today because our form again is really, really good and we still are in the title fight. Now, it's time to get revenge on Barrel. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 5 of season 3 of The Journeyman with South Shields and in today's episode we take on Barrow in the Vanarama National North as well as Chester. So since you were last with us, as I said, things have been going really, really well. We obviously lost to Telford in the last episode. We then went on to beat Nuneaton 4-2. Really good performance here. Jordan Burrow, David Foley, Wright and Jackson on the score sheet. We then beat Lemington Spa in the third round uh, of qualifying for the FA Trophy. Burrow and York scoring there. We then beat Kidderminster 3-1 with Morse, York and Burrow scoring there. We then beat Hereford 1-0 uh, away from home. Reese York getting the goal there. And then we went through in the FA Trophy beating National League side Blythe Spartans 2-1 in the FA Trophy, Trophy first round, uh, David Foley and Brad Jackson getting the goals. So, all that means that we are currently in second in uh, the National League North. We're three points behind t leaders Telford at the halfway stage. Um, you know, I think we can do this. I really do think we can do this. We're four points clear of third place uh, Barrow. Uh, sorry, Wrexham and uh, seven place, uh, seven points clear of fourth place Barrow. This is a huge game. Uh, altering them up in the top six, showing their, their, their class as well. Starleybridge up there. Uh, Chester down in 12th. So that is a game we really need to be winning. So hopefully we can do that. Um... Apparently, they're, they're not overly pleased we got to the first round. You know, 60%. <laughs> they're happy, I guess. But, uh, you know, it doesn't fuss them that much. But uh, let's have a look at the team for today. Cameron Simpson has picked up an injury recently. So, we're going to have to go with uh, Matty Patterson at left back, which isn't ideal. Uh, but we've got Pearson in goal, Trotman, Morse, Cunningham and the aforementioned Matty Patterson at left back. We've then got Chapman, Wright and York in the midfield with Jackson and Foley, Stormier and Burrow up top. He's had a, a, a decent start, um, Jordan Burrow, to his uh, Shields career. Um, and, and sort of is keeping Carl Finnegan out of the team, which I'm hoping will fire Carl up to to perform when he does get to play because last season and you know the first few matches of this season he didn't have the competition you know Joe, um, Hume really wasn't doing anything um, anything special anyway uh, you know he scored a couple of goals but uh, now Carl Finnegan has true competition in the team so I'm hoping that that fires his performance up a little bit as well um, that's a a speculative ball. Oh, he has Burrow. Speaking of him, Burrow with the shot, and that was a, an early chance to put us ahead. And uh, a defensive mistake there from Barrow. That that was certainly very weird. But uh, obviously, Barrow beat us two nil um, when they were at home on the first day of the season. So we need to to show that we've made some progress since then, and we need to, to return the favour at home today. Uh, and if we do, you know, we could theoretically go top of the league uh, Telford are playing uh, Chester and they're already 2-0 down that's not a good sign for us Chester are who we are playing next so uh, all very interesting there here's uh, McGladdery now K he boots it forward towards Dylan uh, Dylan Morse can he get back no he can't what is Pearson doing oh, rule of thumb for a goalkeeper don't show your whole goal to to the player That that's that's a usually a pretty terrible idea and we're 1-0 down now uh, to a Martin Hind goal well look at this he just sort of walked out of the way of it I don't know what he was doing it wasn't a particularly good shot or anything like that it was just a goal which was enough oh my god Barrow are all over us here All right, come on come on boys we can do a lot better than that. 
get creative out there. Here's Matty Patterson with the corner. Good set pieces from him. Trotman. That was a, a, an early chance there. But we couldn't quite uh, make the most of it. Here's Win Stanley. Now Cooney. Cooney on the ball. That's forward. Matty Patterson's got it. Here's uh, Reese York. Adam Chapman now. Daniel Wright. He boots it forward towards Burrow. Burrow's going to reach it, is he? He is. He has Burrow with a chance. And he's put it in. <laughs> Second time of asking. His third clear-cut chance of the game. And he has put it in and he's really happy about it. Um, but how did he miss the initial chance? I mean, the ball over the top. This Rowan guy has had a terrible game so far. That shot should have done it. And it was more his thigh that did it in the end. One all, we're back in the match just at half time, which is great. Um, and yeah, uh, six point five is generous. He's had two big mistakes. He obviously had the the mistake in the the first twenty seconds or so, where we had a chance to go one nil up. In uh, in all honesty, um, right, uh, not happy because you know our performance so far hasn't been good enough. We we should be ahead at this stage. Um, <clears throat> you know, if we're serious about promotion this year, these are the sort of matches we have to win, the ones at home. Chapman, now he is right. Oh, he's been th pulled down there. That's surely a yellow card. Um, apparently not, but Daniel Wright has got the free kick. The ideal position, apparently, and he goes straight into the wall. Probably his most disappointing free kick of the season. He usually clears the wall and gets pretty close to scoring. But that was uh, that was pretty poor by his standards. Here's Dylan Morse. Forward to Trotman. Morse again. Now what's he going to do? He does. He boots it forward. And, and again. Oh no, what's this? What's this? Oh my word. What on earth was that? <sighs> Martin Hind with the goal there. And Dylan Morse booted it forward. And then they just... Look at this. And I don't, I don't know what the defence were doing there. Brendan Pearson has, has got something wrong with him quite clearly. And we're 2-1 down now. Uh, Brad Jackson hasn't had the, the best of games, has he? So we might bring Waterson on. Um, so Tom, bring them two on. We might bring on uh, Carl Finnegan a little bit later. I know Burroughs scored, but... Uh, he was pretty lucky with the goal that he did get. Get creative out there. Come on. I guess we'll take a draw at this stage. Looks like uh, Telford is still losing. 3-0. Wow. So th this is this is a big opportunity for us to get a point on them. You know, at least. Here's uh, Cooney. Forward to uh, Turner. I could hardly read that there. Here's um, McGladdery. Oh, Daniel Wright should have had that there. And they're pushing forward again. Here's Cooney. Now Win Stanley to Cooney again into the middle. McGeldry. It's a, it is honestly the curse of the camera. I can't believe it. We've won the last six games or something since we've been on camera we lost the last two on camera this is just a horrific streak of of losing matches when when, when you guys have been watching i just have no idea what's going on here's sambu boots it forward towards turner it's going to be 4-1 oh it's a good save that's his first decent save of the game absolutely terrible performance from pearson i might even take him out the side after this um, un unless he's he does something brilliant in the next uh, 10 minutes or so he has Foley into the middle, Morse is there Morse heads it nah, it's not our day guys and, and this is for me epitomises why we're not going to win the title this season because we're, we just continually are slipping up at home. Our home form was the one that got us into the promotion fight last year. And, uh, you know, if our home form was good this year, we'd have been top of the league. I 
just cannot believe this. I honestly can't. And I'm pretty sure we've still got our defensive line uh, back. Yeah, so balls over the top shouldn't be harming us. I'm just embarrassed, really. Embarrassed by this performance. <sighs> I mean, I can't believe this lot have stayed. I wouldn't have stayed for this performance. And I'm the manager. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just disgusted. I really am. Considering how well I, I know we've been playing recently, and to to come here and lose four one is a disgrace. Mass changes for this match against Chester. Then we've brought in brought in Peter Jamieson in goal. We've then got uh, Thornley at right back, Liam Golden, uh, Luke Wall, uh, Jake Hibbs, Waterson. Uh, all making appearances um, <clears throat> for today's match against Chester, which is happening two days after our drubbing from uh, Barrow. And, and remember, Chester beat Telford 3-0 uh, in their last game away from home. So this just isn't going to be easy. Um, it really isn't. You know, we're, we, we've got our work cut out here. So we got to do it. Come on, come on, Shields. Let's do this. Um, I'm nervous. I am nervous. They're playing the exploit tactic from last year as well. Much better performances tonight, please. And uh, not many uh, fans have turned up to watch them. I bet you we've got a decent contingent supporting us, and hopefully that can make the difference today. Oh boy, I, I just I just hope that we can put in a better performance than we did against uh, against um, Barrow because that that was seriously poor. Um, here's Hibbs. Oh, now Sinnott. Bosma. Oh, can can we get a tackle in? <laughs> Please, Hibbs has got it. Right. No. Oh, what what on earth is that? Why are, why are our players just completely clueless today? And we haven't we haven't got many fans along. <laughs> Wait till you see look at this. We've got this little corner here. There's a few along, but uh certainly not many. I I has a, a guess at less than fifty by by the looks of it. Which is which is not good and, and we dropped down to third. I was saying at the start of the episode how we were four points clear of third place. And I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to stop recording because we do well when we don't record. <sighs> that was close. Right, we need to demand more from them. They're not even, they're not even competing. It's just so odd. And it looks like Telford are losing as well. This is crazy. Geisley are beating them. We've got Geisley next. Oh, dearie me. I just... I, I don't know what to suggest. I don't I don't really know what we're doing wrong. You know, I, I seem to be doing well for five, six matches, and we'll lose two on the bounce, and then... And then we'll go and win another six, no doubt. Or at least I hope. Um... Oh, Jake Hibbs having a terrible game, right? Let's get Matty Patterson back on. Um, I guess Sir Tom comes on for Daniel Wright. You know what? We're going to make a triple substitution at half time just to try and make a statement to them. Oh, what on earth is that? You know, your first touch of the ball in the match and you give it away. I mean, it's just crazy because. You know, if you're just watching the episodes, unlike me, where I'm playing everything, you think, how on earth is this side in third place? Because as soon as I turn that camera on, they seem to forget how to play. And, I'm, you know, I know, of course, it's got nothing to do with the fact that I'm, I'm recording. It, it just happens sometimes. Um, but uh, I wish it wouldn't happen while you were watching. <laughs> Put it that way. Right, let's get creative. 
we can still get a point out of this. We can still get a point out of this. Please. <laughs> oh dear. 80 minutes. Gone. Barrow a, a, a thrashing Hereford as well. Look at how close it is now. All the way back down to Altrigham, but we just haven't even had a, a, a single chance today shown on camera in this match. And there it is, full time. Two defeats in a row, once again. I, I, just, I just don't get it. I, I, I want to have a look at the schedule and, and see the last time we actually won a game on camera because we lost the first game of the season as well. Um, so we lost these two. We lost those two. We lost those two. We lost the Darlington match. We won the Lemington, Lemington Spa match. Um, we played brilliantly that game. So we've actually lost the last seven games on camera. And you can see the pattern. And it, it just makes no sense. You know, you, you, you speak about curses of the camera and stuff, but you don't seriously mean it. But how else do you explain this? It just makes no sense. It really doesn't. Um, let's have a look at when we, we might might come back. We might do these two matches. Stortford and... Uh, and Boston, perhaps. Um, I don't really want to do Darlington again. Um, and try and split them up a little bit. I'm not too bothered about showing uh, us get beat in the FA Trophy either. So, yeah. I think we'll we'll come back around then. And, uh, and hopefully we can end this awful, awful streak on camera. If you have enjoyed that, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.